Hey good people, welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by because this is a once in a lifetime day in history. It is 2-22-22. Yeah. Yes? And we're having the ultimate taco Tuesday tonight. Anyway, at my school today, we are wearing tiaras. Ties, my tie is back there. Tube socks, <sighs> tube socks. And two twos. But more importantly, today I'm doing a palette rotation video with three looks. So if you wanna see the three looks, including the one I'm about to do now, keep watching this video, let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, it makes you happy, trying to make some better decisions with your relationship with makeup, and you wanna connect with another enthusiast that's struggling to do the same thing, definitely consider joining the community because I would love to have you back. All right, let's get started. All right, yes. So for school today, for Tuesday, we are doing the tiaras, the, what? Oh, you're gonna be late. That's what I'm gonna say. That's, that's what I'm saying. My shirt says something like teaching second grade on Tuesday to 22-22. I got Marky a shirt too. August school isn't, I don't know what they're doing. Anyway, that's it. So we're gonna go ahead and get into the three looks. I am actually talking through these, so I'm excited. That's why it's only three looks. And I'll just be back to close out the video. All right, you guys. So for this palette rotation, my first look is gonna be with the Natasha Denona Face Glam Palette, Glam Face Palette. And this is the dark one. This palette is always a really good one if you are in a rush, which I always am. And this is what it looks like. I really like this. I am wearing the blush right now, but I do have it set because I'm gonna be putting my mask on. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. This so I'm going actually into the shade that says Transition. And I have a BK Beauty A503 from the Angie Hot and Flashy set. And I'm just gonna use that and start in the outer corner. And I'm using the Glam Light Icing Primer. I think I have the shade Simply Vanilla. I alternate between that and Buttercream, whichever one is available at the time. I just start by kind of tapping and then swiping just to kind of set it down. Today is the first day. So this is actually Friday, February 18th. And the board of from my county decided to lift the mask mandate at school. So this is the first day that the kids don't have to wear masks. I am gonna to continue to wear mine. I did reach out to the parents to ask them what you know their preferences were as far as that goes, because I definitely wanna respect whatever it is they want their child to do. So I have a mix, so I'm gonna to need to make a list in my planner of those who are supposed to be wearing masks and those who aren't. In addition to the 50 million other things I have to do while I'm teaching, but it's okay. I am gonna continue to have my sons wear their masks for now and um, we'll see how it goes, you know? I mean, it's nice to not have to, but I feel like the decision has been kind of hasty. It's like the numbers I think have been down but I don't know if that means that we should jump into not wearing masks. I don't know, I don't know. To each his own, I guess, and you know, I just have to tell my kids to wear their mask, and you know, it'll be good, because I'll still have my mask on, so the kids that are wearing their masks at work won't feel a kind of way. I'm now gonna go actually into the crease shade, just to deepen this up, and I'm using a BK Beauty A504 from the same collection, and I'm just going right into the crease. And I always just start with a little amount of pigment on my brush, just because you can always add more. And I, I think it helps me to get more of a seamless blend because you can kind of monitor as you go. But let me talk to you about the other things I have on my face. I primed my skin with the Tatcha sunscreen primer and then I used a mix of the Auric Glow Lust in Pyrite. That's the lighter shade that I have. And I mix that with my Lisa Eldridge foundation in the shade 21 
and that's what I have on for the base. I have on the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Bronzer, Airbrush Flawless Bronzer, which <laughs> whatever it's called, in the shade Tan. I set all of that, and my concealer is the Pat McGrath. I set all of that with the Hourglass Ambient Palette. All right, now we see that this has gotten a little smokier, and we're gonna continue to do that. I'm going back into the transition shade, and I'm just gonna sweep it under my lower lash line. What else? Yeah, I used the blush and the highlighter from this Natasha Denona palette and that's it and for my lips I have on a color pop liner and I have on Lisa Eldridge and this is velvet muse all right I'm looking at the two shimmers in this palette so we have outer corner here and then we have inner corner um, I'm gonna just go ahead and put the outer corner shade all over the lid I'm just gonna use my finger for that I love this shade I think it's really beautiful like brown shimmers are so pretty. This is so easy to use. And it's crazy because when this palette launched, I was definitely not wild by it. I was like, is this a holiday release? Like, because compared to what she came out with last year, which was the Trio Chrome palette, it's like, this was really lackluster to me, but I actually um, ended up getting the light palette on Macari, and then I liked that so much. I was like, wait, this deep palette, the shades, I really like the shades a lot more. Let's go into the smoke shade. This says smoke, and I'm using the same brush that I use for my crease. I'm just gonna tap it, and I'm bringing it up just above my crease a little bit, just so we can see that. I'm not trying to be too dramatic with it. I just like the outer corner area to be really deep, so. I am gonna bring it into the crease just a little bit. And then I'm just gonna take the first brush that I used and just blend just to make sure it's seamless. That's pretty much gonna be the eye look. We're just gonna go into the inner corner shade with the shade inner corner and I'm using a Refer 23 brush. You could even use the highlight shade if you want for the inner corner. Uh, let's see, maybe I will do that. I think I am. I think I'm gonna use the highlight shade just because it's a little brighter. And this is kind of a deeper look. So I think the highlighter is gonna really look nice here in the inner corner. It's a little here. And I'm just gonna take a little there. And that is gonna be the eye look. I'm gonna put on my mascara and liner and then I'll be right back with my thoughts about this look. All right, you guys, so I'm back. This is the final look. I'm getting ready to go to work, as usual, per usual. And I really like it. I think, I think it's pretty, it's neutral, it's easy, and that's what I need some days. For the eyeliner, I used a ColourPop liner. I'm not sure the shade, but it's just brown. It's nothing special. I told you about my lips already and the mascara. I've been using this Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara for a while now, and I really like it. There's something about this wand that I really like. It's just kind of sleek, and I just like the way that it diffuses my lashes out. So here is the look. So overall, I really do like this palette. I am glad that I pulled it back out in my palette rotation because I haven't used it in a while. As I said, this is just such a quick go-to easy look. I think it looks good on everyone. And I think that if you had to choose between the light palette and the dark one, you can always lighten this up, but the light palette, I don't know if you can really deepen it to make a look like this. It just gives you a little more variety. I also think this kind of reminds me of the Natasha Denona Biba palette. So maybe I'll, maybe I will pull that one out just so I can see. This is kind of like an extension of it, I think, but I like to compare it and see if it's similar. But overall, this is great. So that's it, y'all. I'm going to get to work, but we're going to get into another look. So see you in a second. All right, y'all, so I'm actually going somewhere for once. We rented out the movie theater and, oh my God. We rented out the movie theater and my sister and all of our cousins were going to the movies. I think the last movie we all went to together like that was The Fast and Furious. And that was in like 2015 because I remember my cousin Raven and I were both pregnant. So that was a long time ago. So we are going to see the movie Moonfall. 
and I haven't even watched the trailer so I'm excited I don't even know what you wear when you go out these days but I am going to be wearing the Tom Ford metallic denim quad and here it is I have played around with this but I haven't formally worn it so I'm excited to have something new now these are all shimmers so kind of Mm, don't know how to approach this. I have to have some type of matte. I'm gonna take my Gucci bronzer in the shade three. That's what I'm actually wearing right now. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my transition area because I just can't. I'm wearing the Glam Light Icing Primer in the shade Simply Vanilla. So I'm just gonna sweep it up here just so I don't want it to be like all white. And I will share my other face details. I have on the Auric Glow Lust in the shade pyrite and it's mixed with the chanel number no. one skin tint foundation i really like that combo i have on the gucci three bronzer i have on pat mcgrath desert orchid and for concealer i'm using the nars radiant creamy concealer in the shade ginger i have my under eye set with the hourglass ambient lighting powder and lipstick i have on the vive lip liner in the shade rumor and the lipstick is the chanel lipstick in the shade adrian one of my all-time favorite lipstick shades i also have on a highlighter today it is the charlotte tilbury beauty wand in the shade spotlight i like this as a base so let's get started i'm going to start with this blue shade and i am going to wet my brush i'm going to start with that on the lid tapping it in and I'm using this Morphe brush from the Coca-Cola collection. And there's the shadow. I am keeping this right on the lid. Ooh, and I already like how that's mixing with the brown. I think that looks good. The brown from the bronzer. I'm gonna carry it up just a little bit. But I think what I'm gonna do is use one of the brown shimmers to blend it out. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna spray my brush. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. And I really do like this shade of blue. It's just kind of a deeper, grungier blue as opposed to those like bright blues. I'm a fan of these types of blues. So I'm not gonna say I don't like blue eyeshadow anymore, but I am picky with the blues that I like. So that's what we're working with. I think what I wanna do next is, as I said, go into one of the brown shades. And I think I wanna go into this one. And not brown, I don't know why I called it brown. It's like a, um, I don't know. Oh, now August's little friend is trying to call. August fell asleep because I wore him out because he was doing too much. His attitude, he was not having a grateful heart. So I'm gonna take this Alien Cosmetics brush it's a fluffy brush it is the a6 putting it in the crease and slightly above and that's going to help to blend out the blue up into the bronzer yeah I need I need a little matte I'm sorry I mean I've done some all shimmer looks but that's not exactly my favorite type of look to do so I do like how this is kind of bridging the bronzer and that denim shade together. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it like that. So now I'm gonna go into the black and I'm going to use a more concentrated crease brush. Now this brush is an MSQ brush. It is from Amazon. It doesn't have any type of label, but this is a crease brush. And I'm gonna go into the black shade. I'm gonna attempt to use this as my outer corner shade just to deepen this up even more and I'm gonna go ahead and just tap it in and this is where I would do my smoke shade um, and it typically wouldn't be a shimmer it would be a matte but that's what we're working with with these Tom Ford quads well with this one and I like how that looks so you can see it's just a hair deeper than the blue I'm just bring it in through the crease I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side tap it and then swipe it i'm going to take the alien cosmetics brush again with whatever's left on here and just kind of blow it out i want it to be smoky but i every time i look in the 
camera, I feel like you can see it's like hindsight, like, ooh, that black looks kind of harsh or whatever. So just blending it out with nothing on the brush. Yeah, I really like this look. And I have on the jeans, so it looks good. So now I am going to go into the blue shade again, but this time, mm, I'm trying to see the kind of brush I want. Something like this. This is the What's Up Beauty R106 brush. Now What's Up Beauty sent me these brushes and they are awesome. They're like refer brushes. The brushes are made in Italy and they are natural hair. So I'm gonna go back into the metallic denim blue shade and I'll have to be careful because I don't want this to get out of hand here <laughs> for the lower lash line. So I'm just gonna try to tap it because my face is done. So I'm not trying to have a situation. And I'm going to dip it in again and spray for the other side. Other salt, kind of want to go back in with this shade again on my lid. I just feel like right here, I don't know what happened there. So I'm gonna just use the same brush. I just feel like it's not a, um, a even coat or it may have mixed in with the black or the brown too much, but I really like this blue. So I wanna make sure, yeah, see, yeah. Cause that setting spray is really helping that shade to pop. I'm just gonna try to pat it because this is a really nice blue. And I think it got a bit, you know what I think happened when I put the brown shade on? I just think it got diffused more than I wanted it to. So just have to go back and touch it up a little bit. Okay, now that looks good. The next thing I'm gonna do is an inner corner highlight. Just going in with the pencil brush from BH Cosmetics. It doesn't have a name on it. And I'm gonna be going in to this shade right here. A nice inner corner highlight is really nothing special at all, but it doesn't have to be. It's gonna be just what we need it to be for the whole point. And there's the look you guys. I am going to finish this look off camera just with a liner and my mascara and then I will be back to let you know my thoughts on this one. All right, you guys, so I am back with the final look. I really like this. I love these smoky, bold eyes with this nude lip. I think it came out really, really nice. Let me know what you think about this one. So for, I told you about my lipstick, but let me show it to you because it's in my pocket because you might gotta bring it with me. So the, this is the Rumor Liner by Vive. And then I have it paired with Adrian. This is the Rouge Coco. I wasn't sure which formula it was. I would say this is one of my favorite nude lipsticks that I own. And I think paired together, it's a nice combo. And sometimes I do wear it without a liner or a liner that matches. And these are the eye products. So I use this Charlotte Tilbury Extreme Blue, Super Blue Metallic. This is the one that goes with the quad. Look how beautiful and bright that blue is. Now I like this blue in the waterline. So you can see it hopefully, it just gives that extra pop that makes the look stand out, which I really like. And then the mascara is actually by Makeup Revolution. And I saw this uh, Rose and Ben, I think she did it a little real. And then Morgan Turner, I ordered this from Target because they didn't have it in the store. This is the 5D Lash Pow Volumizing Mascara. And this is a cheap mascara. You push it like that. There's the wand. I really like this mascara. It always amazes me, you know, with mascaras. And I'm like, you know, you don't really need to pay much for mascara. I am working through some mascaras that I've previously paid, you know, a, a pretty penny for. So, but after that, I don't know if I'll continue to do that. So if you can see my lashes, I don't know if you can, but I'm also using the Grande Lash Serum, which I just ordered more of because I'm really seeing a huge difference and I don't feel like, oh, I need to have lashes with this look. Like, I think it looks great just like this. So that's the look, you guys. Um, we're gonna get into one more, but overall thoughts on this one, really like this look. This is my type of blue look, and I think it's gonna be really nice for the movies. We'll see if Tyrone likes it. 
Let me ask him. Tyrone! Hey, babe. I wanted to see if you like my look. You gotta look at me. Yeah. Do you like it for real? Yeah, it's cute. He so likes what's it. What's the name? It's uh, like, like uh, the night sky. All right, not the night sky. All right, y'all. Well, that's the look, y'all. Not the night sky and the stars. I'm so done. All right, y'all. Let me get to the movies before we late. Let's get to the next look, too. So for this last look, I decided to pull out the BH Cosmetics Sweet Shops palette in Cotton Candy. I just felt like it went really well with this outfit without being super matchy because I mostly have one navy. So let's get into this. August, you're gonna be late, honey bun. It's 7.50. I'm gonna go ahead and, you don't have to rush, you just need to start. Um, I wanna, I don't know what I wanna start with. This is such a cute palette. The Sweet Shops, BH Cosmetics, I don't know. I don't know if they can do a part two, uh, maybe, they just need to, we just need to just enjoy, enjoy the moment that we had with the sweet shops. I'm gonna start with Carnival. Let me just show you the close up of the palette. There we go, it's always washed out when I do that, but that's a little more accurate. Okay, I'm gonna start with Carnival on the outer corner, just using a fluffy Morphe Coca-Cola brush. I'm trying to make this like nice and colorful. Oh, I did hear that these are at Marshall's. So yeah, huh? Did you take your medicine? No, I'm not done. You're not done? No, I'm not done. The allergy medicine? I'm not done. Okay, just hurry up. We're going to be late. You, you know, there's no we in this. I'm going to be late, Mom. Okay. Well, remember, you, you always have a choice. I'm not going to be late. You will. If you say never, then you won't. They're not. You know why? Because I have to go to work and teach. Excuse me? I heard these are at Marshall's now for like $8.99. So, and I specifically think it's Marshall's, but y'all correct me if I'm wrong. I think I've said that before. I'm gonna go into the shade Confection. So this was Carnival, if I didn't say that. And then Confection, and just finish off the transition area here. I don't even know if you can see the difference there. Um, oh my God, let me tell y'all this real quick. So, I don't know if you remember, but a while back, I wanted to get that Tom Ford, what's it called? Red harness, right? So when I got it, um, I got it for like 80 bucks. That's still a lot, but compared to 155, whatever. I don't know when this person got it, but y'all let me know because see, I don't have any expired makeup. Great, come brush your teeth. It had like this like metallic-y type smell. Now I wore it and it's fine, so I guess I shouldn't worry about it. But um, the other day when I was pulling out my, hey, what's up? Okay. When I was pulling out my Chanel Chains blush, it had the same smell. Go ahead and wave. Hello. It had the same smell. I can't explain it, but does that mean it's old and I need to throw it away? Because if so, that's fine. But that's like a really like a wake up call. Because I mean, I store my makeup in a dry place. It's not um, warm or anything like that, you know? It's like room temperature. So you see the little gradient that's happening there. Let me know if I need to throw it away. I feel like I should throw it away. Like, why does it smell like that? Then that makes me scared to use it. Just wanted to put that out there. Um, I'm really feeling, okay. Let's go into sh Sugar Plum. Then we're gonna go into Swirl. I'm gonna need his toothbrush to not be that loud though. I'm looking for a crease brush. I think we're gonna use this Blend Bunny, uh, what is this? B5, B4, B4 brush. Going into Sugar Plum in the crease. I said I was really gonna try to get to the sweet shops, you know, in the next couple weeks to see, does my ranking still stand? Cause I did use Orange Sorbet last week, which I, I love that one, that's my favorite. So I need to just get back into these. So I think I had this one ranked maybe third, I think, I can't remember. I'll link the video because I don't remember at all. So I'm just putting this directly in the crease and this is going add some more color. So at work today, I have all these little twos, activities. I'm not really teaching the curriculum today. We're just gonna have fun. I mean, I'm gonna be teaching. I'm always teaching even when I say I'm not. The other day, I'd be like, I'm not teaching today, but I'm always teaching, so don't be scared. 
especially if you work with me and you're watching this. I know I'm always teaching, even if it's not the curriculum. That looks good. And then that's what we're working with. And I'll go back at the end and like take a fluffy brush to kind of blend this all together. Actually, let me do that now. Just taking the first brush and just going over Mom, it. Mom, what is 12 days? What? What is 12 days? I don't know, but it might not take 12 days for it to get here, okay? I'm gonna keep trying to tell you that. Put some lotion on your face, okay? You look very cute and handsome. I'm gonna go into... Come on, August, you're gonna be late and I'm gonna be late. He's getting lotion on his face. Come on, August, you're gonna be late, man. Yeah, because it's 7.55. You just need a little lotion on your face, that's all. You just need a little bit. Oh, that's good. Thank God for granddad. He got socks and shoes right there. I'm going to get him out the house real quick and then we'll be back. Actually, no. Let me go ahead and put light and eerie under the lower lash line while he's getting his shoes on. August, is your coat hanging up? The black coat or the army coat? I'm going to walk him out and I'll be right back. I'm trying to give August a kiss and he's going to ask me, can we please hurry up because he doesn't want to be late when he was the one shucking and jiving. I can't. Let's get back to it before I'm late. About that. Okay, so now we're ready for the shit. And I'm definitely going into this shade Swirl. We might go ahead with this all over the lid. This is so pretty. Let's see what else we got though. Got that? No. No. Let's go with Swirl. Swirl looks so good. And I love these palettes because it's just like you cannot make a bad look. Like you just can't. This is like neon, isn't it? Maybe a little bit. August be playing around. So I made him, a, no, I'm sorry, <laughs> I made him. He made me, I made him make me a promise because I'm like, if I'm trying to make all these like important lifestyle changes, I'm gonna talk about this in another video about my kids and like just different frustrations, but, and things that I'm doing about it, like not just about them, but about me too with different things. But if I'm trying to make lifestyle changes, like they have to be on board too. If I'm trying to change how I eat, like I can't let them eat crap all the time and like it'd be cool, you know what I'm saying? So I told August like, you don't eat fruit, you don't eat vegetables, like you damn sure are gonna take some vitamins. I mean, I didn't say damn sure to him, but I'm like, you're definitely gonna be taking some vitamins, you know what I mean? So, and I was like, it's not a choice. I said, I mean, if you don't wanna take it, fine, just give me your iPad, that's it. And I also told them, I wanna do um, fluff for the inner corner. I also told them, they are going to help make a technology schedule because they have to be on board. So you're going to choose when you're not going to use it. And I'm guilty because sometimes I, I'm getting into the whole topic now, but I'll get into it more detail. But, you know, sometimes I'm doing stuff. So at dinner, you know, they may have it or on the weekends or something like that. But I was like, you know, dinner is not is not an option anymore for the iPad. It's just not. I'm sorry. I bought them this book for Valentine's Day called Our Table. And it just talks about like how important it is to like eat together and talk and chat. People really underestimate how important that is when it comes to developing vocabulary. And if you look at the vocabulary development of kids in certain areas, their vocabulary, let me get my eyeliner. The amount of words in their vocabulary is lower. Part of expanding your vocabulary is through conversation. And a lot of that conversation happens at the table, you know, asking people how their day is and just talking about different things, talking about what's going on in the world. And a lot of kids are not getting that these days and including mine at times because I'm multitasking. I'm gonna go ahead with Love Drug, but yeah, so it's so important. Love Drug is a plum. It's like, that's just my go-to. That's like me using a black or brown. Um, so yeah, I, with Marky starting to talk so much more and so much clearer, I'm like, I really wanna capitalize on that as well. And 
just enjoy time without technology. And that includes me too, because I'm always on my phone. I'm always looking at Instagram. I'm always looking at different things. I'm always researching something. It's not even like social media stuff. Like sometimes I'm just looking up different things that I think about and it's, it's time to cut that back. But as I said, that's a whole nother video topic about like just how I'm just trying to change up my life philosophy, how I talk to myself, um, how I view things, try to help myself with my anxiety and being overwhelmed because it's all about perception. And that's what everything is about really in life. All right, so there we go. You can see love drug there. I am going to get my mascara and then I will be right back to tell y'all what I think about this look, but it was super simple. And here's what it looks like, you know, it really goes with what I've got on, I think. So yeah, I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so here is the final look just with the mascara added on. I use the Benefit Bang Gal Bang Mascara and I really do enjoy that. And just some other face details for foundation. I'm wearing the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation in the shade Valencia. I have on the Gucci Bronzer 03 and then Pat McGrath Concealer. For blush, I have the Wayne Goss Bright Poppy, which is he coming out with more blush shades? Cause I think I saw something about that. Not I think, I saw that he's coming out with more shades of your favorite products is what they said. It looks like two blushes, I'm adding more blush. It looks like, yeah, we need more. It looks like two blushes and a lipstick or two lipsticks. I would get them because I really do like these blushes. I don't have all four, I have this bright poppy shade and vivid azalea but i mean it's like such a fun day at school i think lots of blush is warranted for fun at school yes all right i really like that shade and i have on the highlighter too i put the highlighter on first then the blush now for my lipstick today i have the natasha denona i need a new lipstick in the shade amorosa which i really like and this is what's stopping me from getting the new one I feel like the tones are similar, but I'm not sure about the difference in the formula. I know if I got those new Natasha Denona lipsticks though, that they would not go to waste. So I'm still kind of considering it, but maybe I could wait for VIB or something like that. All right, yeah. I like the light lipstick with this. I don't want anything like too, I don't want to look like a clown. You know what I'm saying? I already got, not that I look like a clown. I'm also ready to take my hair out. I'm like tired of this style, it's cute cute but i'm ready to take it out i really am overall i like this look i think it looks great i think it's fun and even if it wasn't this day at school where i had to dress up this is a look i would wear to work like it is are these like my go-to colors no but every time i put on like a purpley uh eyeshadow look i'm always happy with it because purple goes really well with brown eyes and they make brown eyes really look nice so I don't feel like I could go wrong with purple, but it's still not my go-to. My go-tos are like those rusty colors and the like the grungy greens and stuff like that. But I, I love this too. So mm, I think all three looks came out great in the rotation this week. And I know I did share my final thoughts about the other looks as I did them. So I'm not gonna hold y'all too long, but let me know if you enjoyed this style of video with the talking and then less looks. Cause I didn't wanna do five looks talking. That's just gonna be all day, but I think three is really good. And um, I really do enjoy sharing how I come up with the colors that I put together and all that stuff. So, and just chit chatting. So let me know how you like this video and how you like the palette rotation. Let me know how you're doing with your palette rotation. Are you grabbing for the same palettes or are you trying to mix it up? I do have to update my spreadsheet because um, I have been using some palettes and it really just makes me feel good to put a tally next to the palette name and just, I also highlight to just show that it's been used. And I do include like if I reference it or swatch it for a video because that's all a part of using it too, being a content creator. But I especially like when I see that I am creating looks. And anyway, that's all. Thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me today for another palette rotation video. I do hope this was therapy for you because it always is for me and until i see you again which will be really soon make sure you are being gentle with yourself talk to yourself nice stay safe and i'll see y'all in the next one bye